There was nevertheless a perpetual tension between Number 10 and Cabinet, was there not, in relation to where important decision-making took place and, and the degree to which matters might be debated and resolved within Number 10 before being put to Cabinet? Yeah, I wouldn't describe it as a tension between them in that Cabinet um, was formally involved, but uh, as you'll have seen from some of my um, um, notes, minutes to the Prime Minister, I did need to remind him of the importance of involving his Cabinet colleagues, mm -hmm. not just in the formal decision, but in the formulation of that decision. Helen McNamara makes a second point in this context to the effect that the full Cabinet it tends to be better at bringing a wider perspective, it, putting aside the democratic accountability, of course, vested in cabinets by virtue of being the cabinet of, of, of the governing majority party. Certainly every senior minister was also a constituency MP. And so they had essentially a ground um, truth from that experience that officials sitting in departments wouldn't have themselves a, that personal exposure to the public. It's one of the strengths of our system, I think. Uh, and so I was always keen to encourage cabinet ministers to remember they weren't just speaking from their departmental perspective, but as constituency MPs with the grounding in the, the views of the ordinary citizen.